Hello, welcome back to my channel, Thrifty Day. My name is Leah. I'm the creator behind Thrifty Day. Today's episode is going to be a really laid back and chatty work with me video. So if you like what you see, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. That would mean so much to me. So here's what we're going to be working on today. I'm going to be adding some of these really cute digital printables to the front of these ephemera portfolios that are for Patreon. So let's get into it. Hello, good morning. Um, well, it's good morning here. I'm not sure where it is in your time zone. Um, I am just going to do a work with me video. I have some ephemera kits I need to work on for Patreon. This is the ephemera kit. Um, it's super cute. I just, I had a lot of fun making them. So I'm kind of doing it all in steps right now. Um, last night I put all of the backs on to all of the ephemera kits, which is a really cute image, um, from some, what are they called? The World of Dick and Jane, those books. I just love them. They're super cute. So, um, so I'm, I'm getting these all put together and I usually do it in steps because I have 35 I need to make so far. Um, if you're not a part of my Patreon, these will be for the ephemera tier, the journal and ephemera tier, or the I want it all tier. And um, so that's sort of what I'm working on today. I also cut down some, um, oops, I also cut down some journal covers because I'm working on the journals as well. So let me show you what I mean. These are all, let me move this out of the way. These are all sort of the bare bones of this. This is what they will turn into these like um, sort of folios, I guess. I don't know. So as you can tell, they're sort of blank right now. So I need to gussy them all up, decorate them. But let me show you the backs because I had so much fun putting these images on the back. There will end up being a pocket over about half. Um, I think I want to make it a little bit smaller. I'm not sure. I'm still going back and forth. But I do love this vintage um, huge wide trim. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But how cute are these? Aren't they just the sweetest little images? I just love them. And I love the dog in the series because many of you know I foster dogs and I work in dog rescue. And um, how cute, the ice cream man or the milk man. Um, but one of my foster dogs was named Belvedere and he was a beautiful border collie and um, looked exactly like the dog in this series. So I just love doing them because every time I see the little dog, I think about my sweet Belvedere who is living his best life now. He lives on a huge, beautiful property. He has a home, he has children, he has cows and horses, and he is living his best life. So such a gratifying thing to see happen. When you work in rescue, you see this dog who came from um, a very unfortunate circumstance and now is just thriving. And so that just makes me happy. But anyway, I just wanted to show you these. Aren't these super sweet? I don't know, you might be getting the roller skates. I don't know, very sweet. So. Now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to add this background and this is a digital print from KB and Friends um, on Etsy. You can find them on Etsy. So I printed them all out. Um, I already trimmed down all of like the white part on the top and I only did that because I knew you guys probably wouldn't want to sit and um, watch me trim all these <laughs> tiny little pieces from the top. So I already did that. Um, so what I'm going to do is just glue them on here. I have to figure out a setup here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Um, I need to move this. And I'm going to use just some of this like waxy sort of paper. I'm gonna put it on the inside, mainly because um, if a little bit of glue seeps out, I don't want it to get into the folio. I don't mind if it um, gets anywhere like onto that paper. So that's why I put it in there. Um, and I'm going to use PVA glue to do this. I use PVA glue for everything. I think I've gotten lazy in my old age. I'm just like, you know, what glue is always around? PVA, great, that's the one I'll use. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put it right onto the actual folder. And I have all different color folders as you saw and there's so many more layers that still need to go on to this and like I said I have 35 to make but that's okay this is really fun so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on 
and um, so that it's nice and straight. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, look, you're wasting all of that beautiful printed paper, but I'm not. Um, this is the exact amount that came off of the sides of these folders. And so of course I saved them. So what I'm going to do is actually keep this paper once I trim it down and I'm gonna glue it on here and then I'm gonna cut them out to make tags, journal tags. I don't know, they might go with the journals, they might go with the ephemera tears. I know, probably go with the ephemera tear, but I'm kind of excited because I think it will be really cute. And right away when I was trimming all of this off, I thought, oh my gosh, I can't get rid of all of that. It's definitely perfect for tags. So don't worry if you're like, oh my gosh, look at everything you're wasting. I'm most definitely not. You know me, guys. I don't waste anything. So the way I do this is I do a few and I kind of um, let them dry. Let me move stuff out of the way. I feel like I have just stuff everywhere. Um, and I let them dry. So I'll do like, I don't know, five or six, eight. And then once they are all glued on, then I'll get that same stack that I just glued on and then I'll trim them all down. So I just wanted to sit and chit chat with you guys. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I apologize if you can hear my dog barking like a silly guard dog. I don't know. She's, it's Ellie. Ellie and Winnie are so reactive to the door. And I don't know why. Coda is not. And Barley never was either. But my two girls, my other two girls are just super reactive to the door. And I just, I don't really understand it. Dog behavior, you never know. I've tried, you know, being consistent with no and stuff, and Ellie just has a very high prey drive, and I think Winnie is just a silly puppy. But anyway, so yep, just adding PVA glue. I think for the sake of this video, I'll probably just go ahead and show you um, how I trim them, because otherwise you'll just watch me glue down paper for days and that probably isn't very fun to watch but I don't know if you're anything like me I love watching videos of people just working um, there's a lot of crafters and creators that I really love and I do just like watching them work and then I work right alongside so um, I don't know it's just nice but so as you can see there's like a lot of hangover so what I need to do is trim all of that so I just use my scissors I mean, I could probably use my paper cutter too, but it's pretty easy to just use your scissors. And that is perfect. I'm gonna do this side next. I hope I'm in frame, so I'm not even paying attention. And then I'm gonna do the bottom. And there she is, isn't that so cute? It's coming along, it is coming along. So now you see the only trash that I'm actually throwing away, if I can get it, are just these little pieces because this will now be turned into a tag with the extra um, bit from the folio. So I will save this, obviously. Um, but now let me trim up another one and show you. I also wanted to show you the covers that I have coming for my next, um, what are they called? Travel journal, my next travel journal drop I made. I think about 10 or 11 travel journal covers yesterday. Um, one is for my daughter though, and truthfully, I may keep one for myself. I <laughs> I had originally made one out of that hippo fabric for myself. And then when I, I always will try to use, um, since I just started making travel journals, I will always use one that I know I'm keeping as like the sample. So I punched the holes in mine first just to make sure I was doing it all correct and I did it wrong. Oh my gosh. I mean, so good and bad, like the good news is like it wasn't one I was planning on selling. It was actually one I was going to keep. Um, but bad news now, I ruined the one I was going to keep from the last drop. So isn't that the way it goes? And then like to even further that story, um, I actually, I don't know what I'm doing here, folks. I actually went back to the fabric store and I was like, oh, it's okay, I'll just get more of that hippo fabric because I didn't buy very much. And it's all gone. It was in two colors. It comes in pink and blue, both. Both of the bolts completely gone. I'm like, okay, who is buying all of this silly hippo fabric? Like, what on earth? Isn't that funny? I, I couldn't believe that it was all gone because I really thought like, 
who would want it but me? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I underestimated um, the amount of hippo lovers in the fabric world. Um, but anyway, so see, isn't that perfect? And now, obviously, I don't know what I did with the original one. Um, obviously, there's still going to be a lot to do, and I need to do this 30 more times. But um, like, I'll add the little pocket to the front. I need to add the telegram image. I need to add my sticker. And I still need to add pockets. And then, of course, all of the ephemera. So this is just like the next step in this process, but I did want to share it with you because it is kind of a fun process. Oh, and I need to glue the pocket on the back. Yeah, so there's a lot that still needs to be done. And then of course, I'm keeping these scraps and um, I'm going to make tags out of them. Well, thank you so much for hanging out and chatting with me today. As you can see, I have gotten so much work done. I added the little train pockets off camera and I am loving the way these are turning out. I did wanna show you a really quick sneak peek of the travel journals I have coming. I have some really sweet little vintage prints and I am quite in love with all of them, especially that strawberry print. Oh my goodness, so cute. Anyway, have a really good one. Thanks for watching, friends.